now tell me who fooling who you ain't fooling me so you're fooling you <laughs> good morning good afternoon good evening my illustrious beautiful wonderful family welcome 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 to the mental house with me your host, Khadija. <coughs> okay, folks, I'm not going to be on here too long because the the ball is going to drop, the hammer, I should say, is going to drop real soon, and we can do these kind of um, follow-ups from the jail cell. So for those of y'all, first of all, let, and let me shout out Roland Martin. I think I spoke a little bit too soon for you um, or about you. And I see you did go into the receipts of Tiffany Henyard. So I was glad to see that. I was glad to see um, that you, because I know you got it in you. And you're very knowledgeable and to tell you the truth, you're a very good journalist. You're going to dot the I's and cross the T's. Um, and I didn't expect you to come out, come at her like a pit bull. But what you did was pretty masterful. And so, a shout out to you. However, what I'm coming to talk about is the uh, uh, trustee board meeting on last evening. Had to be one of the funniest things I have seen yet. Now, if you are under the sound of my voice and you hear me talking about narcissism a lot, but you don't know what it looks like live and in color, you just think this is the way people are. Well, she's meaning Tiffany Dalton is a pathological liar. That's number one. Uh, which is the first telltale telltale sign of a hip of a narcissist? You can't. It's like pinning jello to a tree. When you get them and you say something to them, you have actually you have them corner. You got the facts in your hands. You begin to discuss that they are literally like taking jello and nailing it to the tree. That's how they're going to get away from your butt. They not trying to hurt Cletus. Okay, so what I wanted to do is, well, let me give it, and, and before I get really started, um, I'm, I see you, Tom Boy, so I'm giving you a shout out. I see you. So this thing with Tiffany Henyard is so corrupt. <laughs> it ain't nothing but for the curtains to fall down on her because see what's is what happens when you have when you're dealing with narcissists they think everybody is stupid except them they think that they have over average oh i mean over the above masses intelligence they think they have overly um just figured out how life works but the rest of us peons don't know a damn thing and this is how they operate so they tell lie after lie after lie. I couldn't believe when she got on there and said that she didn't start the foundation. Tiffany cares for get pain, uh, cancer patients. There were so many lies in that. She said, you know, you can't hold them accountable because they shape shift. See? So Roland Martin said, so this is your name on here? So you didn't have nothing to do with that? Oh, no, no, no. See, people love me, and they, they like what I did with the foundation. They decided to start a foundation in my name because see, you can do my name and it's, it's, and get clickbait and yada, 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 yada. I was like this. Well, y'all know it rhymes with which. And I'm sitting up here listening to this lady. So after she done told her 15th lie to... to uh, Rolling, I was about done. Okay. I'm glad he came back with the next day and talked about the lies because I could I can't even hardly stomach her. She's so crazy. I personally can't. 
A lot of people are way better than me. I don't have that kind of patience, okay? I'm getting old now. So uh, I'm like, listen, the, the, the B is lying. Ain't none of this stuff she's saying is true. We about to break her off, and we about to do it. See, that's the way I'm about to go about it, and which is all wrong, okay? This woman walked into her own news, put it around her neck, and so all we got to do is just watch them pull the floor from up under. But I thought one of the funniest things I saw, and I had to, and it kept me cracking up, was the very first uh, <laughs> citizen of Dalton uh, that stepped up to the plate. Let me get it to you what she said, because y'all love this. Okay. <laughs> They open their prayer, um, the meeting like they always do, you know, uh, like um, <laughs> there's a scripture to say the man that provided not for his family is worse than the infidel that denies the faith. And I hope I got that pretty much similar. So you won't take care of your family and then you are infidel as far as I'm concerned. Your family could be your community. You're not looking out for your community. You robbing them. You killing. You killing them. You uh, home invasion. You do. You you are you are infidel, and you did not. And when the when when the end comes, get away because I never knew you. So this lady, to me, was one of the funniest. Um, to give you semblance of what happened at the meeting. <laughs> Oh, yesterday. This was a reg regular board meeting that they finally all got to participate. She didn't lock them in the basement um, because she is a real live narcissist. A real live one. You don't get no more crazy than this. So if y'all know somebody that act like this, like Tiffany, that's what you're dealing with. Ain't no sense in you trying to argue with them. They're, they're sick. You'll never get the truth out of them. Again, it's like nailing Jello to a tree. So now this young lady decided to come up and confront Tiff um, about her crap. And I'm sorry, I thought it was one. Of, she started it off. She came out with a bang. Okay. Right now they having a little sound trouble, so you 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 know, and you don't know if it's Tiffany doing it. Uh, Keith Freeman, because I noticed that a few of because, you know, we only down the road from uh, Dalton in Chicago. And a couple of them people that she got on out there rolling with her are crooks. The one that was out there when the girl got killed in Chicago and put in the freezer, I seen him and the family told him to get away from us. He don't got nothing to do with us because they knew he was a shyster. This was what, five years ago. Or more. When that girl got killed and they threw her in the freezer. Or she went into the freezer or whatever. So, she's got a bunch of crooks. Keith Freeman, all these people running with her. But, I don't think nobody could have said it as elegant as this lady right here. I want to hear the sound. And so far... There is no sound. But you can rest assured one thing. Tiffany going to get them all when the meeting is over with. Because, see, a, a, a no narcissist can stand there. Here it comes. The, a narcissist can't stand there and um, let you fire off on them. Oh, no, no, no. Whether they wrong or right, they about to come back. Man, I'm have had it with this. Sound, y'all. I'm trying to do the. Here she come. Here she come. She's telling Tiffany she's sick of her. Uh, My story through stress and uh, with the pain and struggle is a testament of resilience and unwavering determination to fight for what is right and let us stand united in the pursuit of justice, ensuring that our voices are heard and the struggles are acknowledged. And thank you for standing by me in this journey together. We will reclaim our city and pave the way for a brighter, more incredible future. Tiffany, you do not, you do not stand for my kids, and you do not stand for me. I hope you in this fight do lie.
You lied to us as residents. You do not. You do not stand for me. And I want you to do that now. It's not today. And thank you again because this deficit that you have called, because something is definitely wrong with you. And that mental illness bill that you want to pay us, you need to get yourself checked. That mental illness bill that you want to pass, you spending the money anyway. You need to spend it on yourself because something is wrong with you. <laughs> Okay. My name is Reed Harvey. I'm a long-term resident since 1986. My question is, what was the financial status when Tipton Henry was elected? What has your administration done or accomplished to better that? Now, that's a good question because I want to know where the money was, where the money reside, where the money reside. I want to know. Where the city, the, the, the township of Dalton, the village of Dalton was before Tiffany got her grubby little hands on a pot. Because if they was already, now from what I understand and from what I'm, I'm going to keep on looking through it, looks like they were operating um, to the good. Tiffany came in and messed it all up. Now, that's what it looked like. But here, let them explain to you. They can do it better than I can. I don't live there. You're aware that the village administrator currently is in a bankruptcy proceeding. <laughs> she said that. Something like this does not happen overnight. First Timothy 5.8 says, But if any provide not for his own, his own is, what he has authority. That's right. Influence over. Which is as the village administrator. And especially for those of his own house. He hath denied the faith. Because he calls himself a man of God. But he's an infidel. Worse than an infidel. Worse than an infidel. Mm. There was a meeting. Uh, maybe two weeks ago. Secret squirrel meeting. Well, maybe tonight we're gonna have a city girl meeting. <laughs> he called her a city girl. One other thing that I might just point out, and I didn't have time, shame on me for not researching it enough. But there was something called the Shackman decree. And so I'm querying that perhaps the, the board might consider whether or not there can be some kind of home ruling so that the political patronage and hiring people that are cronies that walk on eggshells straight out of jail can't really do and discharge their duties for fear of recrimination fear of losing their jobs or perhaps even personal attack she gonna go retaliate against everybody that want to see her gone they in trouble if you attended this meeting and say something about the city girl. Good evening, residents. Uh, Edward C., uh, Mayor, Board of Trustees, Department Heads. Uh, doing real hectic in the village of Dalton Media Wise. I want to start out by saying self accountability is a bad thing in this administration. The mayor can blame everybody for what's going on, but she has to look at herself. Nobody told her to get on TV and lie like that. Blatant lies. <laughs> Did you spend this on a credit card? No, sir. I don't know where they got that from. You don't. That's unexcusable. These are easily verifiable lies. That's unacceptable. She's a narcissist. Why the attention wouldn't get picked up until your lies came out on WBN. Nobody was really paying attention to check for something like that until this. Also, the, the financial report. Who's the finance chair? Stan Brown. Does, does Stan know anything about the finances? Can he answer any questions? They were, the trustees don't have the credit card receipts, the mayor's re village reports and financial reports, the stand have it because the rest of the trustees don't have it, and she's going to say everybody's lying. They do have it. The attorney general is asking for credit card receipts. I guess the attorney general is lying too. So this is where we're at. Of we're course. And if you can, the mayor can blame 
everybody. I know she wants to say I'm a black woman, and it's because I'm a woman. You know how many women that she's affected? I'm black. Look what she did to Dr. Scott down the street. She won't even let her open up. Look how she talks to the other black women up here. These are all single mothers, just like her. Look how she talks to them. Look how she talks to the clerk who's old enough to be her mother. Look how disrespectful she is. If y'all can't see that, a lot of y'all do see that. I just don't refuse to see it. She's so disrespectful. And she told Brittany, don't say nothing else. I don't want to hear from you no more. How do you talk to an adult like that who's elected? Everybody that worked for her know how disrespectful she is. So the point here is be careful. Like Chief lied last time and got caught up. The, 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 the calls were about to get repo. Oh, that's handled, trusty house. When it clearly wasn't handled. So when you be careful, there's life after this girl. Repossess the police car. Because she told you to lie, believe me, it's all recorded. That's right. Everything's recorded. And be careful not to lie on stuff that can easily be proven that you lie. The chief said it was handled. It wasn't handled. They almost repossessed the car. That's unacceptable. Unacceptable. So, trustees, residents, keep watching. Don't trust the YouTube page. We're going to keep putting this madness out here because it, it's got to stop. It's got to stop. And again, Nobody was checking for this until the mayor got on TV and lied right through the camera. Smooth, with, without a bite in the eye. That is dangerous when you can lie like that that easy on stuff that you know can be verified is true. So, thank y'all so much. That's what a narcissist do. Keep holding this administration accountable. Keep fighting for transparency. And keep, don't let her bank up this town and then blame it on y'all. And trust you, Dr. Time is up, sir. Please put our picture back Time is up, sir. And this is what y'all, I, I really want to stress this. Um, because I have a lot, I've worked with, been around, and one of the reasons why I study um, mental health so much is because narcissism is so prevalent. Um, and the more narcissistic a person is, the more dangerous they are. Because they'll kill you. Or have somebody kill you and be looking so innocent and had the same face like she got. I ain't, I don't got nothing to do with that. I didn't see that. What you dealing with when you're looking at Puffy? And I, I'm not a, a doctor. I can't make a diagnosis. But he's a straight psychopath. If what he's done and he's been accused of doing and then we're going to take it all the way to these murders. From Wolf to Biggie to Kim Porter. Only a narcissist could do away with people and keep on going. Or have them done away with and keep going. My involvement, let me tell you a personal story. Um, I was singing, well, I was, I was, I was promised a club, okay? And sometimes I, I, I be easy on young people when they do a lot of foolish things because they just see the end result. They don't see what's going into it. And at that time, I was very young. I was in my early 20s, and somebody had promised me a club. So I started doing a lot of things um, that I wouldn't normally do, like running product from where I was to... Uh, Anaheim, California, and all over these damn United Snakes of America on the auspices that I was going to get a club, okay? So I was being used. As a singer, I had no business getting off track to wet that way. However, I wanted that club so bad. If I had my own club, I just thought that that would be the epitome of success for me. When I went out into the barn one day with, uh, well, on my way, and I'm thinking I'm walking on the ground that's very uneven, and it, I was like, why is all these lumps and stuff in the ground? You know. Uh, oh, that's just, that's just, um, that's just, you know, uneven uh, grass. I mean, uneven uh, grounding. That's all. We gonna um, uh, fill it all back in. We gonna. Uh, I I didn't think too much of it. But when I seen a dude hanging upside down in the barn, 
being whipped with a horse whip, I said, oh, Lord Jesus, I'm in the wrong place. See, because I want a club, but I don't want one that bad. I don't want that on my heart. I don't want that on my heart. And you have to be able to make a decision, especially when you live in the ghetto or you've been around people who is easily and quick to drag you into craziness. Like when I told my cousins a guy stole some money from me, they went and picked him up, found him, took him down to Milwaukee River, made him strip, butthole naked, called me on the phone, told me to come here. I had no idea what I was getting into. So when I went, what y'all want? Hey, they said, here he is. We got him. Now you want your... I was like, oh, my God. I want my money back, but I don't want this. I don't want y'all to kill him and throw him in the river. See, but there are some people that say yes to that stuff. And when I say narcissism is all around, I be serious. You making a choice. You making a choice to work with Tiffany. Tiffany is a nutcase. I don't care how many weaves and new clothes and designer bags she wear. The girl is dangerous. And you better recognize. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm going to say it this last time. You cannot disrupt the meeting. Nobody is disrupting this meeting. This meeting. I'm just looking for a reason to cut the meeting off. Looking for a reason. All right, go ahead. Good evening, everyone. Board of Trustees. Resident of the Village of Dalton. I'm Valerie Sir. Former trustee for the Village of Dalton. 23-year resident. Been in politics all my adult life. I'm 65 and I've been in politics ever since I was 18. It was a statement made by Chief Spring that the village of trustees would not vote on to take a bond out for Homewood disposal. Well, for $1.4 million. Correct me if I'm wrong. The residents paid over two million dollars every year for homewood disposable that's included in their water bill. So I want to know why in the world would you want to take out a bond that the residents have to pay along with the interest, notwithstanding after you pay the one point four million, you have six hundred thousand dollars to the good. It was also a statement, that gentleman said it best, that Mr. Keith Freeman, if you can't take care of the business of your own house and pay your bills, and this is public information, and you have to file bankruptcy, and you not, do not include both of your salaries, the one from Thornton Township, I don't know what your position there is because I have... Uh, four years and my four years don't get answered and also the village administrator I've asked are you a village administrator uh, 1099 or with benefits or are you just a plain 1099 so today I'm asking that you either step down or the trustees for the village of Dalton that voted you in to vote you out because you are no good for the residents of this community. Also, I want to ask the question again. I asked it the last meeting, but the, the uh, mic was cut off. <laughs> Why is Trustee Delta's picture sitting there as opposed to 
being on the wall with everybody else. It don't make any difference whether or not, Mayor, you like an individual or not. This is business. This is not about liking or disliking. This is a... And that's how petty she is. Tiffany is mad because the woman brought the receipts for the hundred and fifty something thousand dollar Tahoe that she purchased on the lease. So she leasing. And with a twenty seven or twenty eight percent interest rate. And she's mad because the woman brought that and brought the receipts. So just like a a petulant child like Donald Trump, who is this another supreme narcissist, she takes the woman's picture off the wall and begins to kick it every time she passes. She pre proceeds to kick the picture. It's about the business of the people from the village of Dalton. Ma'am, our time is up. Good evening, everybody, to give me the chance to become in Dalton Village Hall to be talk, and whatever I will talk is nothing but truth. I've been in this village been 10 years, Miss Mayor. I never have any problem to be uh, disrespectful to my business, disrespectful to my neighborhood. I've been in this town been 10 years, and the way I have revoked my license I've been paying my tax good. If I made a mistake, you have a chance to give me the chance to be, I can create my any mistake what I made. I will try my best to be whatever the violation I have given on my paper is nothing but the lie. They say every time we have 15 to 20 police star come over there and helping us, that's not true. They never help us like that. And we never expect them. The last time what they give me ticket for $750, to be two girls argument of outside of my establishment and this is the reason I have to revoke my license. I paying everyone $8,000 rent. I have only one child which one I'm taking care of it right now. I'm taking care of the another kids. I run more than 23 family house in Dalton. You're ruining your own people end of the day and everybody get hurt. Is a small people is very important. Everybody run the life just because of the day having getting good pay from the good establishment. If the good establishment, good business not going to come in the Dalton, how the Dalton going to survive? That's all I want to talk. I just want to be a bad the peace and I'm not trying to lose Okay. It. Now, this gentleman um, supposedly got his business shut down and he keeps getting fined because they're saying that there's fighting going on outside his establishment, um, which they have not brought any proof yet you can't trust the police chief okay wait wait one more one more y'all and it's gonna do it and media especially we need the media simply because they are receiving power outages at certain times throughout these proceedings just like last week and denials notwithstanding we know that's a blatant lie <laughs> but for you, uh, i usually address most of my uh comments to the audience I'm going to talk to Mr. Roman and Steve Freeman to keep my name out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Now, unless you want it back, but you will get it back. I'm just letting you know face to face. I'm not going behind your back. I'm blurring to your face. Please do it not on a personal basis. Let's not pretend anymore, okay? If you grab that, I'll hurt, I'll hurt you like that. Mm -hmm. um, me, I couldn't believe I looked at this agenda and saw the words Super Squirrel on a freaking, on, on, a, on a professional agenda for a village. Mm. If you look on that first page, she has Super Squirrel meeting on there. You know what made that necessary? Eleven council meetings. There have been eleven meetings like this that have been canceled for the trustees get to get their agenda items on the on the uh, agenda, and they have been unilaterally canceled by this Super Squirrel administration <laughs> because squirrels hide stuff. They bury stuff in the wintertime and hide that dirt. Mm. This is what is happening right now. Mm. So if you want to put Super Squirrel on a freaking agenda, so well. Uh, secondly, <laughs> City Hall, this City Hall that we pay for is, has been shut down 11 times in a row. That's why we have to have those other meetings. 
You can't even get access to our city hall. Okay, think about that for a minute. Only because people want to hide their little secret square agendas and then come back and, and run and rave and insult people when they bring it up. That is absolutely pathetic. And I was wondering, the order, is the Auditor General aware of what's going on here? If we can get something from the, get the Auditor General in here, because there is no way all of this paperwork has to, you know, keep staying hidden. The secret scroll has burned it. <laughs> so we need to deal with the secret scroll's lack of transparency. This is what we got here. So we can sit up here and pretend this is a, an official proceeding, but there's another official proceeding that's supposed to happen every third week in the month. And it hasn't happened 11 times straight, and that is obviously intentional. So enough is enough. Okay? We got it's nothing so special about it. You can step down and leave us the hell alone. <laughs> leave us alone. <laughs> Just citizen after citizen after citizen. The board of trustees, it's residents, mayor, and the department heads. I'm here to express deep concern about the township's lack of transparency related to financial records. If there is no discrepancy in our finances, hmm. then why the resistance? Why not share the information to the residents? The mayor has recently reported in a recent interview that our deficit is two million rather than the seven million. If that's true, where's the proof? Yet she has failed to give us the proof. The mayor also has made claims that the proof of financial information is on the Dalton's website, yet it is not. That is false. We don't need any more videos. We don't need anything else saying that what you're claiming to do for the village. We need accountability. We need information on the finances. Stan Brown, Trustee Stan Brown. I find myself perplexed by your position on the finance committee. Your role suggests a focus on our village finances, yet discussions from you from this critical topic are notably absent. Where are the finance committee meetings? Why don't you speak up during these board meetings? Where are the financial reports? Surely you should have that information, right? Why don't we have it? I they urge you to refocus on the financial health of our community and share with us your actions and plans for enhancing transparency. Trustee Holmes, I must ask, what do you believe your role to be? As a public servant, your role is to represent the residents' interests. That's him. Your actions on the line. Holmes. With our concerns and our needs. Holmes, they no I already know him as a you crook. You should be driven to tackle injustices and push for significant changes in our township. I urge you to align your efforts more closely with our community's pressing needs. What is it, TJ? And to the residents, continue to speak up, speak out, do not be afraid. We demand transparency, and that's what we should get. Thank you to the trustees for what you are doing, the rest of you all. Thank you for continuing to fight on our behalf, and we appreciate you. Thank you. Have a good evening. What, is there anyone else? Now, the funny part to me is when the mayor gets to talking, and then she slide this everybody first. First, she come up real nice. I'm glad y'all got to express your opinion. Then she just ream in on everybody, <laughs> uh, telling them they dishonest, they are insane, and... The shit show starts all over again. Y'all, this girl is sick. This girl needs to be stopped. She needs to be arrested. And the last thing I want to say, O'Shea, Duke Jackson, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at you again with this talk. Let me see. I like O'Shea, but O'Shea, you are dead wrong to compare Tiffany Haddish, I mean, Tiffany, whatever her name is, Henyard, with uh, Fani. Now, don't get me wrong. Fani done done some stupid stuff. 
in in the name of love. Okay? But I'll be damned if I let you act like she's been doing the same thing to her constituents as this person in Dalton has been doing. And they're two different women with two different agendas. And that the bottom line is, Fanny just wanted to get laid. Okay? This lady done been laid by every jailbird. She got them all on the police force, got them all protecting them, stealing everybody's money. Now, for you to compare them to, to me, is hypocritical. Okay? So, I want y'all, if you get a chance, look at the regular board meeting from, uh, it's because it's a couple hours long, and I can't, of course, do it all. But I want y'all to look at the regular board meeting from Dalton, which was on uh, March 4th. And you will not cease to be entertained. All right, I'm out of here. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. And I will see you all in the next video.